Hey guys, um, today we're going to be doing a very quick little tutorial on how to do a black and white post process filter, well more of a grayscale, which is what I've been trying to do, I finally figured out how to do it, and yeah, that's good, so let's get to it. Basically, what you need is you can start with any scene, anything you want, I'm just going to put in a cube, throw it up here onto the floor and then I'm going to make it colorful so let's go into starter content whatever material you want I guess I'm just going to do something like at least I can see the color grid there we go color grid fantastic so when you start you're going to be in something like this all colorful now let's change that what you're going to do is you're going to go visual effects post processing Make this big, like let's say a thousand. Doesn't matter how big you want it, you can make it as big as you want. I'm just gonna do a thousand, make it zero. Alright, and then it's very simple to do a grayscale scene. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go into, I'm just gonna close all of this here, so I was playing with it earlier. So you're gonna go into here, you're gonna look at color grading. No, sorry, not color grading. Uh, it's not, uh, I'll find it in a sec. There we go, full. Then you're going to enable channel mixer all three of these. And then you're going to go into hex and type in FFF. Press enter. And then OK. Same thing here. FFF. OK. And. Okay, now, there we go, everything is now in grayscale, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, not many tutorials that find it, but I've seen that actually do it. As soon as you fly out, it's back in color. As you enter, it's grayscale. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot guys, it's been a quick little video, I'll check you next time. Cheers.